from Vermont, Maggie Fitzgerald. The Nail by C.K. Williams. Some dictator or other had gone into exile, and now reports were coming about his regime. The usual crimes, torture, false imprisonment, cruelty, and corruption. But then a detail that the way his henchmen had disposed of enemies was by hammering nails into their skulls. Horror, then, what mind does after horror after that first feeling that you'll never catch your breath, mind imagines how not to be annihilated by it. The preliminary tap feels it in the tendons of the hand, feels the way you do with your nail when you're fixing something, making something, shelves, a bed. The first light tap to set the slant, and then the slightly harder tap to embed the tip a little more. No, no more. This should be happening in myth, in stone, or paint, not in reality. Not here. It should be an emblem of itself, not itself. Something that would mean not really have to happen. Something to go out, expand in implication from that unmoved mass of matter in the breast. As in the image of an anguished face, in grief for us, not us as us, us as in a myth, a moral tale, a way to tell the truth that grief is limitless. A way to tell us we must always understand it's we who do such things. We who set the slant, embed the tip, lift the sledge, and drive the nail. Drive the nail, which is the axis upon which turns the brutal human world upon the world.